Okie doke, so we're getting ready to fit the uh, cylinder head on the barrels. So we put the three big studs in the cylinder head. And uh, we've got all the uh, fittings uh, ready. So we've got four big studs that come down from the top. We've got one short stud that comes down from the top. And we've got two smaller nuts that are going to go on the studs. They're going to go on the top. Uh, we'll have a look at the studs in a minute. And then going in from underneath, we've got these two long strange nuts and one elongated nut. And so then coming over to the engine. So there we've got the two short studs at the front that these two uh, nuts with washers go on. Notice there are no washers on the nuts that go in from underneath. Only washers that are nuts from the top. Uh, now we've got a cylinder head gasket which is very handily marked top and then we've got our four push rods uh, which I actually marked when I took them out not that it matters that much since we've got new cam followers we've got new tappets down down there but we'll put them back in the same place anyway so we've got the outer ones the shorter ones which are the exhaust and the inner ones which are the uh, the longer ones which is for the inlet so uh, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to I'm going to put well seal on the uh, on the mating faces uh, and put the gasket on then I'm going to put the push rods in and then we're going to lower the cylinder head on of course we've got the advantage that we have no uh, frame above the head which that makes life very difficult um, and if, if we had the head, if we did have the engine in the frame, then what we'd have to do is like stuff the push rods up inside the head to give as much clearance as possible. Then you can just get the head underneath the frame and then lower the whole thing down onto the barrels. The advantage of these push rods is that when they go in their tube, obviously with the, the um, ball at the bottom, because there's a socket at the bottom, and then we have the socket at the top of the push rod, it won't focus, but never mind. Uh, when they go in, they can only fit on on the tappet, on the cam follower, right? So once you drop them down, you know, they're in. Um, on the on like tridents and that, it's easy to have these unseated at the bottom. And then you get, you know, and you can't see, and it's not quite in the socket at the bottom. It's not in the tappet, in the cam follower. And... Uh, you know, you've got a nightmare. The advantage of these is once they go down, they cannot but help uh, but seat. They have to seat due to the, the size of everything. So that's great news. Okay, I'll take these out for now. Obviously, I've got a lot of um, uh, assembly lube on the uh, down on the on on the cups uh, and that are for the for the uh, tappets. And later on, we'll pour some oil down. We'll, we'll do that later on so that we've got lots of oil all around the camp followers at the bottom there. Okay, but for now, I'm just going to clean things up and I've got to put some well seal on and then we'll have a go at, uh, at uh, getting, the, getting the head on the barrels. Uh, and just by the by, um, cylinder head gasket. So this is uh, what we call a composite gasket. So it's like a fibre material. <coughs> uh, and I think you can also get the original copper gas head sin head gaskets this is composite this is um when i ordered the the, the gasket set from andover norton it came with a composite uh which is fine by me i tend to find personally that the composite gaskets you're more guarantee of an oil tight seal um than with the copper the advantage of the copper is you anneal it every time you can keep reusing it uh, and, and also, especially because I use well seal, um, if we do need to take the head off again, let's hope we don't, but let's say we do, then it does, you know, it does, um, it's a pain to the gasket all like sticks to the barrels and to the head, and you've got to scrape it all off, and it's a bit of a pain, and obviously you can't reuse it. Uh, the other thing is, uh, being composite, um, I always uh, double check the torque on the head uh more more often after the engine started than i would with copper which obviously doesn't doesn't crush any further um so i always just give the um 
they had an extra check on the on the talk <coughs> um but yeah i uh you know you pay your money you take your choice some people swear by copper i'm sure some people will swear by composite i'm using composite i've always used them uh nothing wrong at all with the uh with the copper i would spray it with uh, what's it called copper uh oh, it's called something as a spray that you put on the copper gasket to make sure you've got a copper a proper seal can't remember the name of it now um with these uh, uh the composite ones I, i'm just happier that you're guaranteed more of an oil tight seal but there we go pays your money takes your choice okay well seals on gaskets are on over these two studs and the four push rods are in uh, longer ones for the inlet in the middle the exhaust ones to the outside and then in the cups we've put uh, some uh, 70 lube a for obviously for lubrication and B because it helps when the uh, when the rockers when the ball of the rocker goes in it, it it's like a little glue it'll stick there and hold everything in place okay we'll give it a go i've no idea how we'll get on so we've got the head, got the three, the three studs on it. Okay, and we've got the two studs on the barrels. All right. So we'll lower it down and see. The, the thing is going to be engaging the push rods with the rockers. Uh, and I've got uh, uh, my little magnet, so I can use that because the top of the rock, top of the push rods are steel, so I can use a magnet and a screwdriver to prod things around and try and get them in the right place. That's going to be the real problem. And once they're engaged, then after that, uh, it should be plain sailing. Famous last words is getting those uh, push rods engaged. kind of sitting there and so what we're going to do now you know the studs are just beginning to engage push rods yeah so it's trying to engage the push rods so I'm a little torch so I can have a look in there and see see what's what I don't see a thing at the moment <sighs> So that's not great. Yeah, so let's have a look. Yeah, nowhere near at the moment. We had uh, the inlet push rod stuck on the exhaust uh, rocker, which didn't help. Same on this side.
So the uh, head's just a bit too far down. What's happened is the uh, push rods on this side, both, they're slightly higher and they've both missed the cups and jammed up uh, next, to the, next to the rocker rather than going into it. So I've just got to try and probably take the head back up a little bit. Uh, yeah, and then let's see if I can get them those push rods in. Okay, yeah, all four rockers are engaged with the uh, push rods. So hopefully I can start pulling the uh, head down now. <laughs> 